Hello everyone and welcome back to the video. In this vi Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. In this video, we will be teaching you how to inspect elements on your iPhone so that you can edit text on your Safari website. So let's go ahead with the video. The first thing that we're going to do is we need to create a shortcuts app. This will then allow us to share things or edit things within Safari. So let's click on shortcuts right here. If you cannot find this shortcuts app, you will need to download this in the app store. And then once that you have found this, let's go ahead and create a new shortcut. So we're going to click on the plus sign on the top right, right here. And then we're going to go ahead and add an action. So let's press this button right here. And then on the search box on the top, let's look for share. And it should be this one on the second right here. Now let's go ahead and click on input on the top. And then let's click on shortcut input. Now you should be able to see two different shortcuts. So on the share shortcut input, the second one, let's go ahead and remove this by clicking on the X. And then Let's go ahead and click on the images and 18 more. Now it's going to ask what type of content do you want to receive? You can see there is a clear text on the top left. So let's go ahead and clear that. And then let's go down until we can go on the web section. And then let's toggle on Safari web pages. Let's go ahead and click done on the top right. And then we can see receive Safari web pages input from nowhere. So let's click on nowhere. And then let's toggle on the second option, which is show in share sheet. Let's click done on the top right. And now we're going to add another action. So let's click add action. And then we're going to be looking for JavaScript right here. So it says run JavaScript on web page. Let's click on that. And then as you can see here, if the scripting action is disabled, let's go ahead and enable that on our settings, open settings, and then toggle on allow running scripts. And let's go back into this. And as you can see, we have a script that has been imported here. What we're going to do is we're going to be removing this first block right here. And then we will be adding a different one, which is document dot body dot content editable. So be mindful that the editable, the E is a capital. Let's go ahead and equals true. There is some quotations in true. And then let's add a semicolon. Now let's add another line, which is document dot design mode equals true. Again, be mindful that mode has a capital M on it. Now on the completion, we need to remove the result and just have completion with open and closing parentheses and a semicolon. Now let's go ahead and click done. So this is our shortcut. So we receive Safari web pages and then we run a JavaScript on it. I'm going to go ahead and click done. And now we have our shortcut ready right here. Now to test this, let's go ahead into our Safari and let's go to a website. Say for example, we have this Apple website. Now to activate it, we need to go to the share icon on the bottom right here. And then let's go down until we can see this share right here. Let's click on this and you will get this notification. Let's click allow and it will get a tick. Now let's get off this and click on the X on the top right. And then wherever there is text, you should be able to edit this now. So say for example, I want to change the price of this iPhone 13 right here. So let's click here. 
and then say let's change this to 100 pounds there you go um, let's say that you know we have a retina HD but I want to say retina ultra HD and there you go so as you can see just have fun with this and inspect all of the elements in Safari do bear in mind that as soon as you hit refresh everything will be reloaded once again and the prices and the text you have edited is refreshed as well so there you go i hope that you have found this tutorial useful don't forget to hit that like and subscribe and we will see you guys next time